looking like a winter wonderland out there today, so I'm going to look after my celery seedlings. Growing celery is very easy. It's a little slow to grow, but I really enjoy growing it because of its ease. When I, once I put it outside, I forget about it. And it gets me through the winter doldrums when I can't do anything else. I can start celery because it's a long growing plant. That means for the average person, I think it's about 10 weeks from seed starting to planting outdoors. I do it a little bit longer. I add another couple of weeks, but that's just for my own little microclimate and that's what works for me. I've been growing celery for many years. Follow your seed packs though. I think mine says 10 weeks on the seed pack. Um, here's what I've started and what I'm going to be pricking out today. I've got three types really. I've got a regular celery, a very nice one called Tango, which works in my area, and a Chinese pink celery, which is just so beautiful, and celeriac. Um, now I started these February 14th, but, um, but ideally what you want to do is start the seeds, very, very tiny seeds. So when you put them in um, a seed tray, this is actually just a container, a food container, uh, you just lay them down. Celery seeds require light to germinate and they're so tiny that you just need to really press them in a little bit and then water or spray them in. And that's going to take two weeks for those to germinate. Then leave them in your seed tray for another week. Just to get to about this, this is a, exactly three weeks and um, I think to the day actually. And they're looking really good. There's spotty germination, certainly on the celeriac, I find that every year. Uh, I didn't put as many pink celery, so I don't know if I've got all of those up. I don't need as many of those. And it's still coming up the others, the tango. So all I'm pricking out today is the plants that are well on their way. And I'm going to be putting them now into the modular cells. I'm probably going to fill this up. I rely on celery for cooking. Here you can see I just take stalks as I require them as a cut and come again. I find celery hardy, but ideally you don't want to put it outside until 10 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is for. And uh, when it's a constant 10 degrees Celsius, make sure certainly obviously <coughs> your soil is warmed. If you're going to do it a little earlier, I wait till my soil is about five degrees, eight degrees. It, it, I have raised beds that I put these in. Uh, so I will get on with the potting on and I'll show you a little bit of that afterwards uh, But when it comes time now to you'll just put them in the windowsill once you put them in your modulars and the reason I start off in a seed tray They're heavy feeders and This is regular compost. This isn't seed starting and then I will so at this stage they're going to need more food more nutrients so that's why now I'm putting one single plant in your modular cells uh, with fresh compost to help feed them because they now have to sit here for quite a few weeks before it can get outside. Um, as I say, you're, you're looking at a 10, me 13 weeks till they go out. Um, when they go out, make sure that your soil is not the sandy type, but uh, the wherever you're putting them, uh, whatever beds, that it is more your rich organic. I use um, sheet manure and compost mix. Uh, is how I top my beds up every year. And in my beds, I have four by eight beds, and I usually put some in quite a few beds, and I put them on the four feet wide, and I probably put four plants in and you can grow other they're slow to grow so you can grow some other things in between grow some radishes or whatnot but ideally i think you want to keep them about 10 centimeters apart 
Uh, celery nowadays is, is self-blanching, so I don't have to worry about that, but also just to help them uh, this, avoid the sunlight, um, I interplant and intense plant in my gardens. So as they grow, they're, they're pretty shaded anyways. And, and they like that. The only other thing you have to do once they're in your garden is make sure they're well watered. Celery likes water. They originally were a marsh plant, not anymore, but they were. And your rich soil is going to help the water retention. Okay, always remember to transfer your tag when you go along or you'll forget what you've got. So what I do Oh, and I should repeat, it's what I do with everything. This is not what you should do, but just to let you see what I do. Trial and error on your own gardens is how we find things the best. So, there's the little fellow. I'm going to get him in here. My compost is pre-moistened. Maybe I need another hand. I'm planting these deep down here, but uh, when it comes time to planting them outside, this isn't a plant to bury. Uh, so just sort of at the, the ball, the base. So I'll continue plugging these in. Hope you're all keeping well, and I'll see you next time.